Hi, I'm Nick Rogers from NJR Custom Guitars. Welcome to the second part of my Stratocaster neck video. In the first part we looked at all the cutter profiles for the front and the neck um, and the jig that I made to locate the neck blank on the machine. In this video we'll be looking at all the back cuts and how I install the spoke wheel truss rod into the neck. So I've now flipped the workpiece over and I'm now using the other set of dowels marked B and the datum face has now become the top of the jig. I use a 8mm M mill and 3D pocket clearing strategy to rough out all the material. If you like the way I make my videos then please give me a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos then hit the subscribe button. The back has been roughed out. I use the same cutter to do the profile cuts using a contour strategy. This cuts right down to the surface of the jig and the neck remains held in with tabs. This contour profile finishes the outside of the headstock and also the heel to finish size. Next up is the parallel cutting path to finish the back, much the same as the front. Tiny step over, about 0.25 of a millimetre, using an 8mm ball nose. The truss rod slot, I just sketch on a plane just above the neck use this to create a cut path and I cut down to the back of the fretboard using a 5mm end mill. Once this operation is complete I try the end of the truss rod in the slot just to make sure it's a nice easy fit and remove it from the machine and cut it free from the scrap. The walnut skunk stripe I tend to cut two at a time just to make the most of the wood it's easier to hold and save time in the future. Next I set my drill press up and I drill down to meet the slot that we milled earlier ready to insert the truss rod. The truss rod is installed from the heel. I make sure the truss rod is nice and flat before I install it and it's in contact with the back of the fretboard and then I glue in the skunk stripe clamp it overnight. The next day I file it down with a rasp and finish it with a scraper so it's nice and flush with the back of the neck. That's it for part two. Part three we install the frets and level and polish. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.